A fire rips through a building, housing dozens of boats. Nobody was injured, but investigators believe the fire caused around $1.5 million in damage. And that fire started late last night and burned into the morning hours. It happened at a boat storage facility used by Just Add Water Boats. That's on Bethel Avenue near Raymond and Sherman on the city's southeast side. 24 Hour News 8's Elizabeth Choi is there live. And I understand there's a lot of damage to the facility tonight, Elizabeth. A lot of damage, Phil, as you can see behind me, everything just soot and ashes. That is what's left standing of this building. Just Add Water used this facility to store its customers' boats. And because of the highly combustible product, I'm told the fire not only spread rapidly, but created some headaches for firefighters. Uh, uh, dozens of boats destroyed, but for one customer, it wasn't just his boat that he lost. He lost so much more. We enjoy it. I mean, Basically every weekend we're on Lake Monroe. Before today, the only thing separating Terry Kratz and his boat was the weather. That's heaven, yes. That's uh, my, day, uh, my weekly uh, routine uh, during the spring and summer. His slice of heaven. After a thorough search, Terry bought the boat more than a year and a half ago. It's uh, a 2006 uh, Four Winds Vista uh, cabin cruiser. Uh, we actually sleep on it. Uh, the boat's valued about forty to $50,000. Now, there are two things separating Terry from his paradise. The weather and a massive fire. It's all over the place. It's, it's burning in a bunch of different areas. The boats are made out of fiberglass and a lot of different parts to them that are just underneath other debris and smoldering. Nearly 12 hours later, firefighters are back on the scene after the fire reignited. It was a tough fire to put out because of the fuel, oil, and magnesium from the boats. Well, the challenge is now is that it, it's a, it was a pole barn with the steel walls on it and a steel roof, and that's all collapsed down on top of it. So we have to go in now and physically rip all the steel uh, planks off and get down to what's burning now, dig through everything that is just smoldering down deep. According to IFD, the blaze destroyed 75 boats, as well as Terry's Bliss. I finally found a boat that I really enjoyed, that I really liked, and now I'm going to be looking for another one. Now, where the fire started and what exactly caused it, all of that is still under investigation at this time. I did speak to the owner of Just Add Water. He says they have filed a claim with their insurance company, but he also encourages boat owners who lost their boats here to do the same. Live on the city's southeast side, Elizabeth Choi, 24-hour News 8.